As you can tell from the title, we are doing a Sunday night routine. We always like to have one day in the week at least where we just reset our entire self. Our self and the house, the house our environment, your space. So we're gonna start off with changing all the sheets and blankets in the house. We have this new shelf to put in our bathroom too. I'm really excited to put that up because our bathroom is so filthy. Like we have products all over the bench. I don't know why it's taken us this long to actually think about purchasing a shelf for our products. We hope this inspires you to like, you know, clean up your space a little bit more because it really does make a difference. Tissues, please. Lamp, please. Key, please. please. So guys, I'm gonna blow my nose because every time we do the sheets, we need tissues. We don't normally change this bed, but we do have a visitor coming tomorrow, so we thought we'd make this room like pretty. Our stepbrother's coming. If you're new here, we live at home with our parents. We are trying to move out. Our goal is to move out this year. Like we're telling each other every single day, we're like keen for this new apartment that we're gonna get. Also, this is the spare room that we're in right now. And we're sitting on Renee's bed. Unfortunately, this bed can't go in Renee's room. The bed that Renee's currently in is drilled into the wall, which is mum's bed. But when we move out, this is Renee's bed. This is the Emma Sleep mattress. It's the most comfortablest bed in the house and the visitors get it. So lucky them. Every time the visitors come out of their room in the morning, like how did you sleep? Did you sleep? And they just rave about Oh, I slept the best. We're really excited because when we move out, we're just gonna like deck our house with Emma sleep. I saw that they have a lounge, like a pull out lounge. It's definitely getting that lounge for our, our apartment. It's gonna be so comfortable. I know. It's like sitting like this and it pulls out. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like that. sitting on a cloud, guys. Yeah. Soft. Also, Emma sleep doesn't just have mattresses, they have like pillows and stuff. I'm gonna get some of their pillows. And mattress toppers. Our stepbrother's sleeping in this bed. This is kind of boyish. Got some marble sheets going on here. It's hot in Australia right now. However, lucky that this mattress has temperature regulating system in it oh yeah you're Is not gonna get cold or hot it's temperature regulating it's got motion isolation so i can move and jazz won't move Okay. Anyone that stays in our house is getting ultimate comfort, so. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention this mattress actually has a cover over the top of it that you can wash as well. You just um, unzip it, take it off, and wash it. Oh my god, if you could feel this, it's so soft. Before we make the bed, we just wanted to show you the bed frame, which is also from Emma Sleep. I personally love wooden bed frames because it's just so aesthetic. Also, I, I don't like when bed frames stick out, but this one is just perfect. Like, you're not going to kick your foot anywhere. Oh, I mean, your knee. Really nice. You know what I mean? Guys, we forgot something. We forgot to put the mattress topper underneath both of these layers. So now we have to rip no. the thing up. Gonna make this room look aesthetic for when he comes. Part of having a nice night routine is also having a really nice comfortable bed where you can actually have a good night's sleep. Yeah, yeah. like if you're not sleeping well, it might be a mattress. We also wanna highlight that Emma Sleep is Choice's top scoring mattress. Two years running. Another great thing with Emma Sleep is they do offer 100 nights free trial. So if you wanna invest in your sleep, we do have a discount code for you. It's capital letters Hogan Twins for 5% off. Now, Emma Sleep have a discount running it's a valentine's day discount and that's 55 percent off so you can get up to 60 percent off using our code yeah because you can use our code on top of the sale as well by the way our code works for both new zealand and australian web stores and yeah we just want to thank emma sleep for giving us the best sleeps this mattress is amazing renee has slept on it and we get such good feedback from our um, visitors that come over
Yeah. This is the part we start to settle down because we've been going at it all morning. We've been going at it all morning. <laughs> <laughs> we turned everything to dirty. We don't actually do this every single afternoon. I mean, I would like to do this every single afternoon, but just honestly, we don't do this every single night, but we do do this every single Sunday. This. So Jazz gets out her little pink piece of paper and she, write, she does off a whole big column and we organize our entire week, like what we're doing, what we have to film, collabs, like any events that we have. So we're ready for the week. We can see the week. The week is literally on paper. And it also keeps us productive because we start to be like, oh, we don't have anything planned this day. We should, we need to plan something. We need to maybe do a photo shoot so we can have have some photos on Instagram. We need to start know. posting more on Instagram. Like, just keeps us more productive. So this is what it looks like. The columns, and it's got the week one, and then we're going for week two. Monday, Tuesday, up. Wednesday, Thursday, and we write in the boxes, like, what we're doing for each day. Yeah, I'll end up filling it all up over here, too. Yeah, and then probably turn it around to save paper as well. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we've just written down a little reflection. So we get a piece of paper and we write reflection. So we're reflecting from our whole day. First subheading is lesson. So you just pick one thing that you learnt from the day. So what I learnt today is how to set up that shelf. I learnt how to set up the oh, shelf, yeah. like this, whatever. I Actually. wrote how much cleaning affects my mood and anxiety and I, I should do it more often. Uh -huh. I like that lesson. Yeah. The next thing is we write down three things that make you smile in your day. It could just be like your dog. You know, Renee wrote your cat. <laughs> I wrote my cat. I wrote filming a TikTok with Jazz. We're like laughing in this TikTok. Fun. Um, and then also, if you guys don't follow us on Instagram, you would know that Gold Coast Bulletin newspaper article came out. So that made me smile. I read the article. Cool. It was so it was cool. So well written. I loved how it was written. And the photos turned out really good. <laughs> that was so funny. Mum said it looks like we're flying in the clouds. If yeah. you saw our behind the scenes of how freaking awkward it was. But they actually turned out pretty good. I wrote... <laughs> Mum made me laugh today because um, oh, yeah. she had made some comment and it's just the fact that we don't know geography mm. and like mum doesn't know geography either like we didn't really know the capital of fucking Countries. any country I'm just terrible at my geography and mum is as well which made me laugh um, and then I wrote the article as well yeah and the dogs and then the last thing we write down is improvement what can you improve on something you can improve on in your day I wrote to be less selfish and like ask other people how the day is. I like asked mum how her day was instead oh, yeah. of just being so selfish and caught up in my own stressful life. Oh, yeah. I need to put focus on other people. So true. Yeah. I feel like a bitch now. I know, anyway, same. I wrote today I woke up and touched my phone straight away. So I'm not, not <laughs> going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> This is something new that we've started doing. We do yoga in the mornings, but we want to start doing yoga at nighttime. I found like when I was nursing, I really like to come home after work and stretch my body because I'm, I'm like spending the day walking around, standing up most of the day. So it is really important when you get home from work to stretch and release the stress of the day, like release it yeah. from your muscles. Yeah. We could do a workout right now, but right now I have on my phone bedtime yoga to relax and I don't want to do that one. There's so many options on YouTube guys. Boho Bee. Boho, Boho beautiful. beautiful. 20 minute yoga workout fusion. Detox yoga for the full body and mind. Let's do that one. Starting with this beautiful movement. Stretch through the fronts of your feet. Bring it back up. All right, let's do one final round. Oh, you said that Forward last Forward into plank. And exhale, holding this three-legged top. Drop the hips down, reach your right arm to the back of the arm. <laughs> Aligning. That was a really nice one. Highly recommend that one that we picked. I breathe in some fluff or a bug. I'm not really sure, but it went right up there. No. I was like, breathe in. Oh, <laughs> see ya. <sighs> Dirty sweaty mats. Yeah. So the next part of our night routine is we like to go outside. So that could be either going for a walk or just going outside and sitting out there. Sorry, it's all dark now. <laughs> we would go for a walk, but we're honestly not really bothered. So we're just gonna sit outside, like do some sort of meditation, just getting nature and leaving your phone inside. We have dinner before our shower because we feel like we smell like a pizza. I feel like I smell like the food that I eat. That's I like to shower do. after I eat my food, so. I want to try this one actually. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. We 
we're now going to share with you our shower routine. Sorry, the fan's really loud, so we can't turn it off. So basically, the fan is connected with the light. So they both have to go on at the same time. We're starting with some of this oil stuff that you put on your face and it gets rid of your makeup. It's from GoTo Skin. Three pumps. It breaks down everything on your face, like zinc. Not blurry. We're also going to wash our hair. We try and wash our hair every Sunday. We're also going to try this hair mask. We got gifted it and we haven't tried it yet, so... Every Sunday we like to put a face mask on because we don't really do it often. We got these ones from Mecca. They're really pretty, aren't they? They're nice. I've used these a couple of times, so I can say that I trust them. Oh, we do. She's wet. That's what she said. So we're gonna leave these on for a good 10 minutes. But the next thing we go in with is some moisturizer. So we moisturize our entire body. Now we have CeraVe and I recently found out that CeraVe is not cruelty free. So I'm not gonna purchase CeraVe again. We haven't really found a moisturizer that we can recommend. It's dropping down. <laughs> I got some new lingerie from Lounge. On the backs of my arms I have quite a few like pimples and it's because I always squeeze the backs of my arms so I've been putting a serum on the backs of my arms this one's from Skin Institute this is vegan cruelty free that's the vitamin C super serum <laughs> thank goodness oh that feels good now we're gonna do our skincare so we're using this one it's called face hero face hero very popular we do for a good reason four drops one two three so nice we're also using the moisturizer from GoTo. This is also quite an oily moisturizer. There's so much in it. I know, and you only need like the tiniest bit. We've been using both of these products for about two months now, and we're starting to see a difference. It's from Lash Fridays. There's an eyebrow and a lash. It's a serum that helps grow your eyebrows and your eyelashes. Okay, we'll be honest, we've actually never used this. I don't know if you have. Yeah, I tried it once. Foodie drops. What do they do to your bum? Make it oh, nice no. and moisturized? Maybe. <laughs> Holy dooly. <laughs> She's really getting in there. Not the crack. <laughs> make sure ass grow, guys. Maybe it's probably good for stretch marks. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. The next thing we're gonna do is diffuse our hair because I do not like sleeping with wet hair. <laughs> 